Have you heard of um, hyperfocused ADHD hyperfocus? Yeah, it's like you get super into flow and you go like eight hours without eating. Yeah, yeah. How do you get into that? I think you just become really, really excited about something, and then you block everything else out. And then once you've done that, um, you just have this. Your brain doesn't remind you. It doesn't have this kind of same clock. Right. Um, it's it's almost acting as like guards at the door. Um, keeping everybody away, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's almost like Magneto, the whatever the the Professor X helmet puts on. You just go in, um, and you lose all this other sensory. Um, I've literally had people standing in front of me, and I'd be in a book, and I would just be so into that book that people could stand in front of me and be like, "Dude, what do you want for lunch? Like, we're making lunch. What do you want? What do you want?" And then they'd be like, "Fuck it." And they would just go and, you know, and then I would finish that book or like Archie comic or whatever it was. And I would walk into the kitchen and they'd be sitting there eating lunch. And I'd be like, thanks, guys. Thanks for asking if I wanted anything. And they just look at each other going like, Uh, (laughs) dude, we tried to get your attention for like five minutes. You were totally gone. Um, I don't know how you, you know, if there was a magic way of knowing of how to get into I it. I want a pill that exactly. can help me get into it because yeah. I don't, I don't. Think. You just have to be into what you're doing. See, I was going to get, you keep beating me to the punch. Um, but I was going to ask, do you think people with ADHD are more creative? Mm. Or can be? Well, potentially. Um, Potentially, um, I, I think it's more the capacity to um, get stuff done. I think people with ADHD have this, you know, as much as they can drift off and doodle and dawdle and, and forget and, and uh, be just total disasters. Mm-hmm. But man, once they set their mind on doing something, you know, like if I'm going to clean out the garage today, I'm not doing anything else. Like, and I, you'll see me at midnight when I'm done. I won't even come in for dinner. Like, this place is going to be spotless. It will be a Herculean effort. Right. Um, going into this. And then I'm exhausted. So maybe it's just a matter of getting started. That is the biggest problem. Just getting started. And I think that is where, and, it, you know, I'll, I have this thing where I know how it gets. And if I, I'm, I'm, I'm all or nothing. Mm-hmm. And so if I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the clock or I'm too scared to start and I know that I'm going to be all and being all right now, I don't want to be all right now. I want to be half. I don't yeah. have the capacity for half. So I go zero. And that's, that makes so much sense. That's what sucks yeah. is that I will suddenly go check my fantasy football team or, you know, I'll, I'll do something other wasteful time or something. And, oh, wait, no, now I don't even have time to start. <laughs> oh, well. right. And, and that's it. See, that kind of mechanism sounds like it would serve you well if you were an entrepreneur, but not so much if you were like an office administrator. Right. Where you, you can't be all or no. nothing. Yeah, and you're menial, kind of. It's like you, there's things that you need to do yeah. um, to get things done. And uh, just daily routine activities, not our forte. Right. So in that case, take your meds.